Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue my calendar inside a teacher side. Last video, I will show you how to make a my calendar inside a teacher side with class timetable. In this video, we can continue like an exam timetable. Suppose we need to show also exam timetable inside a calendar. So we, we have all done here one query like a, my exam timetable. So just we need to make another query and also we need to show here all things like whatever did inside a my exam timetables. So let's go to code and I can explain what we need to do. Okay, so just go to app, inside you need to go HTTP, inside you need to go controller, inside you need to open class timetable controller. Not a class timetable, is a one minute. Let me go to follow this step so I can understand. I think my calendar controller here there. Uh, yes, calendar controller. We already did calendar controller. So inside you can go down so you can see it like a my calendar teachers. Let's make a die so you can understand. So this is the controller, the other controllers. Okay. I will save this file and I can refresh so you can see it. Okay, so 100% this is the controller functions. I save. Now we need to create a new function, means a new function for the exam. So let's open the exam timetable code first. So just copy, go to routes, inside need to go web and just means using the go to definition. Otherwise you have a like, uh, you are using the like this browser, means this is the editor. So you can find out how to use go to editor. I will create one for series how to work means uh, this. I don't know what is the editor name. I forget the editor name, but this is the editor name. Mm, what is the editor name? <laughs> Sorry about that. I forget right now. Okay, so here you can see it like assign class teachers. So we can find out the all the get my class subject groups. And also we have did once we get the all the class, the class against we get the exam ID and exam ID against we get the exam timetable. But we don't want to do like this. Just we need to make one query and we can get the data. So let's open the localhost, paste to my admin and I can show you what we need to do. Because here too we need to part wise need to show this reason we have divided is that using for each loop. But we don't want to show here like a part wise, part wise inside my calendar. So just we need to make a one query and we can get the same data inside one query. Like a class name, exam name and subject name. With subject name inside we need to find out like time, start date means exam date and start time and time no room number and full mark and passing mark. Okay. We don't want to show this one, we just need to show like exam date and start time and end time with subject name. So let's go to database schools.com. Inside I can go to exam scheduling. Exam scheduling inside you can see it like a class ID. So we know, okay, this is the teacher what class ID. So we need to make a join query, join query against we need to get the data. Because we suppose you need to go like assign class teachers. So you can see it like here our teacher's ID there. So this class ID and this class ID we need to make a join query and after where query we can make here teacher ID against. So let's start and show you one by one. So just copy this exam schedule models and put here and here you can make like data get exam timetable. Just copy and put here. And we also pass here like a teacher ID. Okay, and this is the exam timetable we need to declare. Oh, what did it declare? So we don't want to declare again. Just go insights and we can create a new function static function and just copy paste. This is the function you need. I think we need to use a different name because this is the name already used. So just you can type get exam timetable teachers copy and paste here and this is the parameter we have passed so we need to use same parameter in here i save this file also i save these files let's make a dd so we know what data i can get here okay i save now i just use the return self so do you want to use self so still work and also do you want to use like a model name so still works select exam timetable exam scheduling to star and also we need to make here join query 
for assign class again okay assign class pictures join assign class picture dot class id units dot okay is equal to exam schedule dot class id and here we need to make one where query where picture id assign class picture dot picture id is equal to dollar teacher id and here we pass like a get okay let's go back again and refresh the page so i can show you because we have already made a dd here so you can see it here uh yes class control you can see it okay just open the we are finding the 12 records suppose you can go here so also you can count is a 12 record you can found 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 you see so also we have found here 12 record 0 to 11 so data we have get perfect way whatever data we need so we are open this data so you can see it like here we are exam id class id and subject id so let's make a three table also join query so we can get the exam name class name and subject name so let's make here again another join query just copy and paste here so but do you want to need a class name so just copy this class dot class dot id is equal to exam schedule dot class id so just here you can pass class dot name as a class name because we are using the alias same thing we can do inside a teachers okay not a teachers subjects so just copy the subject so that i can open the subject so you can understand here name because we are always using the class so also name okay exam inside we can go so also we can use a name so just we can do like this exam subject subject dot id and exam schedule inside subject id okay so subjects id and here we can pass like a subject dot name as a alias we can create a subject name okay now we need to another join query because we need a exam name so let's go back again and just copy the exam table name exam dot id is equal to exam schedule dot exam id and just we can use like same like your did like class name subject name same thing we can do here exam dot name as a exam name okay let's save and let's go back again and refresh the page so we can check we are getting the name cannot getting the name 100% we can getting the name because we have proper way make a join query so you can see it subject name part time and uh, suppose you can go is a here is a part time subject name no no need to check first time. first you can check like class name class name is a part time so where is the part time there here is the part time there okay so part time inside uh, what is the subject name home economics so it is the home economics and what is the exam name so this is the first term 2022 to 2023 so this is the exam name 23 Uh, 2023 is i think we have made a mistake one minutes first term 2022 to 2023 okay he is also there you can see it like a uh, home economics because he has a part time inside two exam there this reason you can see home economics here there and after what is the start time and time so just you can check start time 9 to 10 so you can see it here 9 to 10 and also you can check like exam date 29 so you can see it here 29 i think is working very well no issue now so just go back again and we need to put this all the data inside a my calendar let's make a some query because is active there not active there so just we can check here is no any query like a data related works so just we need to show all the data inside a my calendar so let's remove this dd and let's remove some space because it look like better this reasons i save now i just open this new file in a means this link open the new tab so we can easily check here what data we need to pass to inside okay so let's go back again we can copy exam time table and we need to go resources 
inside teachers and inside you need to go my calendar just wait few seconds so data is open so here we have already created for events for the class timetable but we need to use for this event inside a exam timetable so just copy otherwise do you want to do like this same thing so just go to student inside you need to go to my timetables inside we have already done my calendar sorry not go to my timetable just go to my calendar inside you need to like a get exam table just copy and go to again teacher sites open the my calendars and put here okay we don't want to use this ones just, just remove not remove the exams just remove the first for which loop and okay and just we can change to very my exam timetable so you can see it here my exam timetable inside we have create another variable value and exam dot name means here we can show first exam name so we can pass like here exam name after we need to pass like a class name because first we need to pass class name after we need to pass like exam name after we need to pass like a subject name so here is a three part like that. first one is a class name class against there is the exam you can i can show you you can go first class name okay so we have did here first class name because we are getting the data inside you can see it here class name after is a second part of this exam name. so we can pass here like a exam name so just go back again and exam name after we need to pass like a subject name and you can see it like uh, we have added date and time so just you can change start time because here is the object was this reason i am removing the error and doing the objects okay and also we have already there is the exam date you can see it here a start time there and end time there we have passed also inside a class name exam name and subject name after i will start the brackets and inside we have to pass like we have passed like a start time to end time now we need to pass like start and end so just we need to pass the exam date so we is already there just remove the array and put like a exam name. and here you can change teachers so just suppose you click on this link so it's going to this place like a teachers my exam timetable okay because i need to provide a urls and background color i have put red let's go back again refresh the page so you can check okay i just refresh the page so you can see it like we can find out the data like part time first terms and here you can see like exam name and after you can see like a subject name so subject against what's the timetable there like 9 am to 11 am suppose second one do you want to show like first term part time so this is the class after what's the exam name so this is the exam name and after what's the method subject name so mathematics so mathematics what's the time one five two this is the dates one five so you can see it like one five like a may you can see it like okay and here also you can see it like 9 am to 11 so 9 to 11 sorry 9 to 10 i think 9 to 10 also yes mathematics 9 to 11 is there i think i made a mistake again yes 9 to home economics there mathematics then 9 to 11 you can see it here I think working very well no issue suppose you can go to day wise so what is the today is the what is the part there so do you want to go list wise so also you can see it suppose you can go to like a list wise so you can see it like a first may what's what do you need second may third may fourth fifth sixth sixth seven eight today is the eight may so eight may what is your position like uh, here you can see like part time english language part time home economics part time mathematics this is the for a timetable and suppose you can go to suppose like this you can easily understand so let's go to month wise so you can go to week wise so you can easily understand and day wise i think it's clear everything on month wise you can see it like here data you can click on the link so it's redirect to this page because we have passed here url i think now clear i think no any issue because we have already passed i think we can change here something so would i go to my exam timetables my calendar sorry my calendar and here is a confusing suppose i go to list wise 
so it's a confusion we don't want to understand this is the exam okay, this is the like a uh, class so i think we need to add one words here like i can put here like exam like this so we know okay this is the exam data and here we can put like a class so we know okay this is the class timetable let's go back again refresh the page and so you can see it like exam and here you can see class so we are good list so we can understand okay exam and here is showing the class so it's clear i know is already provided dot red dot so we can good check it otherwise you can change here like a blue color so you can just type here blue otherwise you can use a like uh, css code so also works so don't worry about that this is the blue you can see it like here dark blue okay and here you can choose the black so this is black also works okay so i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it black also works. and suppose do you want to use like a code css code so css code also works so don't worry about that whatever do you want to like so you can use it Cheat, but exam also is always going to read because this is a, like a sign about the not good your student don't like about exam this is and i'm using the red colors i hope now is everything is clear i don't think now anything is missing here and everything i will show you how to make a exam timetable and also you can see it like a, we already done like a calendar before video so i already explain how to work a full calendar so do you want to see old video so you can easily understand and now we need to continue next video because my calendar job i think done now everything is clear so do you want to have a question so please comment it and we can continue next video like a admin side i can show you what we do just i log out and i log in as admin and we need to create a new menu now in inside examination mark register so student we can register as a marks and this mark we can show is a teacher side after we can print the result lots of thing we can do and after we need to start new module again like a question suppose admin upload the questions class against so this class against question show is a teacher side and also need to show the student side after teacher approve okay this is the is a result and we need to provide a result we can print the result we can pdf the results and we can use like a mail function so we can send this result to other guys so you also he can do it everything we can do step by step so i hope you can understand this is the exam time tables and uh, class time table inside a full calendar and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and please share this video so other student can learn how to make a school time table and uh, exam time table not a school time table <laughs> is a class time table and exam time table inside a full calendar it is not this project so do you want to use any other project so also you can use it we have explained step by step everything okay i hope you are clear thank you for watching